all right hi students i hope you all are doing okay welcome to the oda class and we are having the uh, session for today so students the today's topic is how to find the perfect squares all right so students we are going to learn about this topic that how we will find the perfect squares why are we learning about this topic so students this topic is really very important because when you go to take your exams in the in your exams you will have to do lengthy calculations we don't have that much time that we will be writing each and every number on a piece of paper and will be solving right so we should be knowing how to find the perfect squares just like that right so let's get started students my name is manish jain i'm gate qualified i'm a master teacher of mathematics at oda i have over 7 plus years of teaching experience and i have mentored over 35000 students online all right so students with this let's get started with today's topic we are going to talk about how to find perfect squares just like that all right so students we will be doing this in two parts we will learn how to find perfect squares from 26 to 99 and then we will be talking about how to find perfect squares from 101 to 125 all right so before this the prerequisite is very basic you should be knowing that what are the perfect squares till 25 all right okay so students if you have no idea about the square numbers then in this case here is the list you may take a screenshot also so students generally we do forget the square numbers of these particulars all right okay so i'm highlighting please remember these otherwise i hope other square numbers should be fine you should be remembering other square numbers 17 18 19 21 22 23 and 24 all right i have highlighted all of the square numbers the problematic square numbers and then let's move ahead so students how do we really find is there a really a trick for this kaise nikal sakte hain hum 2 second mein perfect square right there are two questions that you should be asking so from 26 to 99 agar aap ek square number nikalte hain we would be getting four digits in the answer so the task is to find those four digits we will be doing it in two steps and you have to ask two questions what are those two questions the first question is how far is that number from 25 that is the first question you should be asking all right so the first question if you ask you get the answer that will give you what the first two digits of the answer so the first two digits we have got we need to find the last two digits what is the next question you should be asking how far is that number from 50 yes that is the second question you should be asking when you get the answer you need to square that number and that will give you the last two digits of the answer easy right two questions we need to ask how far is that number from 25 that gives you the first two digits and how far is that number from 50 you square that number and that gives you last two digits all right let's have a look at the example so that we understand it better all right okay so 43 square 43 square we are trying to find what is the first question you should be asking you should be asking how far is this number from 25 right we know that in the answer we will have four digits how far is this number from 25 that is 18 far that means we know the first two digits pretty easy right abhi tak hame lag raha tha ki square number nikalne ke liye numbers ko likhna padta hai pura pura calculation karna padta hai but we have got 50% of the answer just by asking one simple question kitna dur hai number 25 se 18 away first two digits we have got what about the last two digits how far is this number from 50 it is 7 away what is the square of 7 40 right so what are the last two digits 49 what is the answer 1849 easy right how many seconds we should be taking to answer this what do you think let's have a couple of questions and we will understand exactly how many seconds do we require all right so you know that we will be having four digits in the answer right so 42 square we are trying to find all right how far is this number from 25 this is 17 far that means the first two digits are 17 what about the last two digits what is the question that you need to ask how far is this number from 50 how far is it from 50 it is 8 far right and what is 8 squared that is 64 so what is the answer 1764 do you think we would be taking more than 5 seconds on this this is a super duper easy trick to find the perfect squares let's have a look at this one this is a tricky one by the way have a clear uh, close look here 49 square how far is this number from 25 gives you the first two digits how far it is 24 away correct so two 
four are the first two digits. What about the last two digits? How far is this from 50? One away. What is square of one? One, but we need two digits. That means we need to write one as zero one. Easy, right? Two, four, zero, one. Very easy, correct? I hope we have understood. So let's move ahead, students. Okay. Now we will find 71 square. 71 ka square kaise niklega? Why is it in the new slide? Because there is some trick to it. Let's try to understand that trick. So 75. How far is this number from uh, 25? This is 46 away. You have got the first two digits. No, we have not got the first two digits. There is a trick to it. How, um, how do we get the last two digits? We get the last two digits by asking ourselves, how far is this from 50? How far is it from 50? 21 away. What is square of 21? I hope you know is 441. But we have space for two digits. We have got three digits. What do we do in that case? We always carry, right? We always carry, correct? Okay. So this four goes as carry. Let's see. Okay. So 46 add four. This four goes to the first two digits. 46 add four equals how much? 50. So 5041 should be the answer. Easy, right? So that means the concept of carry still prevails that you, if you are getting more digits, you need last two digits. You need only two digits. But if you're getting three, that means that should be carry forward to the first two digits, right? So 5041 is the answer. I hope we have understood this concept, how to find the perfect squares till 99. Yes. Moving ahead, students, let's practice these questions. 68 square. All right. We need to find 68 square. How far is this number from 25? What do you think? 25 add 25 is 50 and then add 18 to it. What is 25 add 18? That is 43, right? We have got the first two digits. What about the last two digits, right? How far is this from 50? It is 18 away. What is 18 square? What is 18 square? 324, right? But what do we need? We need only two digits, right? We need only two digits. What about this third digit? This is the carry forward. That means there is a three here, right? You will be adding it. That means what should be the answer? Four, six, two, four, correct? That should be the answer of 68 square, all right? Similarly, we will do 61 square. How do we do 61 square? Very similar way. How far is this number from 25? So 25 by 25 is 50, add 11 is 36. That means... The first two digits are 36. What about the last two digits? How far from 50? 11 away. What is 11 squared? 121, right? But we need how many digits? We need only two, correct? That means that this extra one is the carry forward, right? This extra one is the carry forward. That means the answer is 3721. Is that clear? 3721, all right? Moving ahead. Now, students, I hope everyone is comfortable to find the perfect squares till 99. Let's move ahead to the second part of this today's topic. How do we calculate squares from 101 to 125? This is another segment. It is even easier to find it, right? You should be asking very basic questions just like we did in the previous one. How far is this number from 100? Let's say we are trying to find the square of 105. How far is it? 105 from 100, it is 5 away. Yes, so answer of this needs to be added to the number. What is the number? 105. 105 plus 5 is 110. That means the starting of the answer should be 110. All right. Again, we'll be asking the same question. How far is the number? How foolish, right? We are asking the same question twice. How far is the number from 100? Again, 5 away. What is the square of 5? 25. That means what should be the answer? 11025. See, I did not even write it and we were able to get the answer. That is how that is easy. Uh, that is how it is easy, right? It is so easy. All right, 106 square. Ab 106 ka square nikalna hai. again, it should be very easy. How far is 106 from 100? It is six away, correct? It is six away. That means this six should be added to 106, the number itself. What is 106 plus six? That is 112. So the starting of the answer we know is 
hundred and twelve. All right. And then what should be the last two digits? What is how far is it from hundred six away? What is the square of six? Very easy. It's thirty six. That means the end of the answer is. 36. So students, you can see such big calculations you are able to do in just two seconds. Isn't that amazing? Right? Maths is fun, right? So one, one, two, three, six is the answer for this. Let's do one more question. One, two, five square. All right. What What is the one question that we are asking? How far is this number from 100? 25 away. So you should be adding 25 to the number itself. 125 plus 25 is 150. Yes, 150. Let me write it quick, nicely. One five zero, and then what about the last two digits? How far is it from twenty five hundred? From hundred, it is twenty five away. So square of twenty five is six twenty five, right? But then we should be getting only twenty five here, and six is the carry. That means what is the answer? The answer is one five six two five. Do you really think that was it was a difficult concept? Not at all, right? It was super duper easy. So easy peasy lemon squeezy concept. How to find perfect squares, right? So we can easily find perfect squares from twenty six to one hundred and twenty five in just five seconds if you know how how what are the perfect squares till twenty five, right? So that we have done today. I hope you have understood the topic. And if you want to learn more with us, you can download the Oda app. You can find the link of it in the. Description box and also if you're if you want to download it from the Play Store, then you can actually do that. What happens in Oda is basically you will be downloading the Oda app. In this Oda app, we will be giving you the live lectures and also if you're going to perform really well, we are going to reward you with the coins as well. What will happen with the coins? You will basically get a lot of rewards. All right, so you can go to the Play Store, you can download the Oda app from there. And then, with all the coins that you will be earning with us, you will be getting all these exciting gifts: smart watches, smart water bottles, and even mobile phones. All right. So, students, I hope you understood today's topic. And please do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. Let's just see which of your friend gets the correct answer easily, right? And also, you can subscribe to Oda's channel. I thank you all for joining in today's video. I hope you learned the topic well. Thank you so much.